Alright. Well, everybody, welcome to the Summer Lol 2024 Draft Show. Uh, I've got myself here, Ben Bowie, along with uh, Rely Lost and King of Conquest, Louis Vuitton. Here to talk about the picks and ban... Well, not bans. All the, all the player picks for our 10 captains. Does Rylos and King of Conquest want to say anything? Uh, it's great being here. I am super excited for the games this year around. I think we have some fantastic captains, um, eager and ready. I, I've been talking to them all throughout the week, and they have some interesting strats for you guys. So just super excited to see um, what's going to happen. We are going to be a little late today starting draft as we're waiting for... Um, as one of our captains has been delayed, but uh, we expect maybe five minutes. Uh, Vincent, back to you. Yeah, great to be here. Super excited for the draft. Can't wait to for Lil Young Nine to be first picked overall by JS Bar. So it's gonna be great. <laughs> oh yeah, Ben Bowie, can you show us draft order? Yeah, so here is the draft order as we currently have it. So it's going to be a snake draft. Um, I believe it was yesterday. All the captains were ranked according to like approximate rank and perceived skill. And according to that rank, they were allowed to choose where in the draft they wanted to be. And so this is where it all shook out. So basically the way it works is JS Bach will pick his first player. So he gets his um, pick of the litter. Then Yitor gets the pick from whoever's left. Kinney, Voidless, Police Defender, Kells Vol, Abram Park, No Love, ZMAX, SK Telecom T1. Then SK Telecom T1 gets the next pick uh, immediately after, and then it rotates back around to the left side. So everyone gets a, a pick according to like the order that you see according to the numbers. The main important things to start to highlight are that JS Bach will get first pick. But he does not have any agency, effectively, on whom he ends up with for last pick. The two people at the ends, SK Telecom T1 and JS Bach, also have um, a potential advantage in being able to pick th these two sandwich birds. They basically get to have like two players in a row um, that they'll be able to secure for sure. Whereas most other, uh, basically every other captain will have to wait for it to spin back around for them. So, based on this so far. Is there anyone you'd say has a clear advantage? Ooh, I think this is a tough call. Personally, after looking at the list of players, I think the later half is actually um, like the best. I want to say um, void like four and onwards is probably my favorite, mainly because um, I think. There are so many high value players this time around that like getting that second round pick really soon is just like super worth it. So I actually want to say SK Telecom T1 probably has one of the better slots. Okay. Yeah, this draft is honestly a bit weird in terms of player distribution. We have what, 15 top lane mains this time? Uh... Which is yeah, a lot of top lane players. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe the least popular role is jungle and ADC. Uh, but we do have like a good amount of the captains being junglers. And only one jun uh, one of the captains listed ADC as their primary, but two of them put it as their secondary. So a potential option. Uh, Yitor here usually plays ADC, despite being like a top lane main. So that's probably where he's going to go up, uh, end up if past experiences uh, pan out. And I just want to give a shout out to, we have a bunch of players who um, signed themselves up as fill players. So they're like really flexible. I feel like um, it makes them even more valuable as a pick because you can shift them wherever you need them. And that really helps like bind the team because um, having as many people in their preferred roles just really, really helps um, get that bang for your buck. And, okay, but as you're talking about roles, I think the role to really, really watch this time around is jungle. 
Um, there's only there's there's only five players um, in the like draftable players in the jungle role, and I'm including like players who mark themselves as fill and are very very like pivotal um like they are able to fill in as jungle or have indicated that they like they're okay filling in as a jungle so besides the three captains who are junglers themselves i think a lot of people i think a lot of the captains who are, aren't jungle should really really try to prioritize those yeah i think especially the mid lane captains um tend to really like having a jungler um in the early rotation, because then you can just help develop a lead mid, influence the rest of the map that way. It's a pretty standard way to play the game. Uh, do, you the think, do you guys think there will be a high chance where some of the higher support um, diamond players get placed into an off roll? For example, um, like for example, Anna, you might get drafted as an AD carry instead of a support. Do you I, think I've that is something before. that could occur? I've yeah, seen Anna play ADC not. before. It for her summer lull. I can yeah. only beg for them not to. Please. Yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> Wait, but you have ADC as your, like, your secondary right there. I know, but it's a big drop off. I'm a one trick. Okay, we have uh, Marcus just gave us the green flag. We are ready to get into draft. All right. So, Trung right, here. So the first person up is JS Bach. Yeah, Trung will be updating all the picks for us. So shout out to Trung for performing the the lovely labor over here. So a lot of people were thinking that, uh, well, Anna, you were mentioning that you think um, he's just going to pick Trung right off the bat. Yeah, I think un uh, Unlucky's or Trung is my pick for a first pick out of this lobby. He's the highest ranked jungler. Um, he's re he has a flexible pool, and for JS Bach, who's the mid leader, I think this is like really high value. I think the other pick, alternatively, is the Cora Bosne. He's a top laner from Yale, and historically, um, when I was doing my research on him, historically he has been master for two seasons, and mm. he's just a very good top laner. And I think, and he plays everything, so I think he could also be a very, very good value pick. And obviously, Liquid Blade, who Steven has a history with, also could be there. Yeah. But however, Liquid Blade is primarily playing okay, from he London. For <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's, let's, <laughs> let's fucking go. Unlucky. Let's go, Steven. Insta pick. Right. Locked. Yeah, the, the, the issue with Korobasne is jungle is the bottom tier role that um they have listed here so yeah. looks like steven just wanted a mid lane uh a jungle to play with they've played together before for a um, winter law and it looks like yitor is going for kurobazne which lends even more Ooh. credence to the idea that yitor is probably playing adc again maybe some mid games but probably not top yeah. kenny insta locks the meat is boyless insta locks and yeah Wow, okay, so we have some really quick, great picks here. I think these were probably the strongest contenders. Um, okay. I think uh, outside of um, Core Bosne and Ine, do you guys think Demetis will be playing support? No or shot. do you guys think Vinitas No will way play is he playing support? I think it's very unlikely. Demetis is extremely flexible. He has a really large champion pool and a really mm -hmm. wide, like, um, role pool, I guess. You can pretty much put him anywhere. So sorry to cut things off because it's the captain's off two minutes of draft. They they're actually just continuing to zoom a lot. So police defender okay, picks up I liquid blade. Yabuo very soon. Kale have... picks up X Fan. Yabuo okay. really? Yeah, Yabuo. Ain't no way. High value. <laughs> I, think I feel like Yabuo Yabu. hasn't played league in like a year. But basically. we've we've already shown from like past summer laws and winter laws that it's like fine. You just play like a few uh, for a couple weeks, and you'll play yeah. close enough to like how you. He's just before. been saving all his energy, like the cartilage in his left hand, for this tournament. He's been saving all year, you know, and then he's gonna the cartilage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you get old, oh, you just Anna, you're... wear down. <laughs> Fudge! Who did that? Huh? No, no love. love. No love. 
talked I talked to him um yesterday and he said expressed interest in picking up a support early on. Which kind of makes sense. Oh, that's a Hopefully it's a support. Oh, and yeah. it's Ixtali Princess. Oh, I think that's super fun. Um, Two Kiana? Can, oh, yeah, the double Kiana, Kiana, flex, Kiana flex. flex pick. That's so fun. Uh, Except also, the champion sorry, is just stream, bad. We can't see uh, SK Telecom on the stream. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I can, can we move? adjust that. Um, yeah. yeah can slot. you just get rid of the slot round? And... Yeah. The A wow. column. But... I think uh, the draft is going a lot faster than I think all of us expected. I think all the captains draft? have a very, very clear strategy as to who they're picking. And mm. outside of Tofu, who is hesitating a little bit, well, he, gets the, he has to pick two in a row, so he gets four minutes to do both of these picks. He gets longer than any, everyone else here. Yeah. What do you guys think of Abraham Park's pick of Yabo? I mean, I, I, I've said it. I think Yabo is a fantastic pick. Um, it goes great. I think Abe himself is also super flexible role-wise. So having anyone who's... I feel like Yabo is just really, really good value. Yeah. Abe is legendarily flexible role-wise, but it has one to two champions in each role. That's okay. Because yeah. as long as he has other teammates who are flexible role-wise, you can just shuffle. I think it the last time they great... did that, they lost almost every game. Yeah, you know, that means you can only go up. I believe in Abe. I believe in Abe as well. I feel like Abraham Park is probably the captain that climbed the most of any of these captains yeah. from He's a historical right. perspective. He climbed all the way to Masters 104, 114 LP, I believe, this season. So he's very, very locked in and okay. hoping to ha get a good result this time around. I expect uh, SK Telecom here to pick a one jungle because he's in the I think he could pick Firo. He's played they played together before for a tourney. Ooh. Um although in that tourney it was kind of weird. Firo ended up playing I believe Firo was in... only playing Lucian bot. Yeah, he was tourney. playing ADC. So I don't know if like it was the correct choice to draft him, but it was like the decision he I made. I mean the ADC pool is small, so if you can guarantee yourself Tony or Faro, who's a strong like Lucian player, it might be worthwhile having. Yeah, I mean, Tony yeah. would be like a relatively flexible person to pick, except that I think the only non-flexible part aspect of him is that he plays predominantly AD champions in like any of the roles he plays, and uh, relatively I think that's high fine, volatility. Because SK Telecom is such a strong like AP player, AP champion player that. It bounces out. You want both damage. Types. You can just say it. He's a there dirty Zed Lin trick. I did it. I oh, wow. Here, the stream is being watched. Uh, SK to or it's not being watched and you're just a predictor. Um, I think the captains okay. have watched the stream before. And some of them has said oh. it has impacted what they've done. Yeah. So I don't know. Sometimes the, maybe the things that we talk about draft. in this stream, on this stream, might influence the captains. All right. So we have to talk responsibly. Yeah. Or Twitch chat yeah. can try to influence the captains. That's true. <laughs> Twitch chat, you have the power also, to control your own fate. If you're playing ooh, in this tournament. Okay. So he's got a jungler. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go. Inspiring. It says in chat that he is Phil, and he has not indicated that he's okay with jungle, but. We'll see how this goes. Inspiring is locking it in. Um, Anna, you you've been his the only person. His top role ranking is jungle. Oh. Well. Well, Anna, you being the first person that is of oh, me and Bambui that's being picked, who would you like to see on your team with the next pick? Also, Ooh. do you have any comments to say about what Dr. Omegalol um, mentioned? Scheduled loss by no love. Oh, okay. Well, I think that's just goaded. <laughs> I'll, I'll have a quick tournament, and I don't have to play uh, Sunday, which means I can cast Sunday. Easy. Oh, okay, we have Zetio and Drock. Okay, so no love. Prom delivering what he promised. Does pick Drock up. Um, okay. Oh, and we have Vincent Cock... Uh... <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It's fine. King of Conquest, yeah, LB in Let's slash go. seven with Abe. I think that's a really strong team here. We have Abe, Yaba, and Vincent. Um, 
the captains are I feel like the middle captains are just speeding it. They they have a better idea of what they want. Yeah. Then he 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 ha or whatever the he, name he, is. He, ha, ha. AKA Little Marcus gets drafted up. Little Marcus. Marcus yeah. Lee. Top main, but also plays jungle. Um The name is well, He is so young. <laughs> He's so little. <laughs> oh, it looks like they adjusted so it's the actual name. So we have King yeah, of Gunkers, thanks, Louis thanks Vuitton here. <laughs> Honestly, not even sure who's going in which lane for Abe's team, which has happened before. Let's see if it pans yeah. out for a win this time. See, I think that's brilliant, because Abe is going full in for the roll shuffle. Oh, and we have War Koala coming in. Uh, Niles, one of the best Shed players I know ever. Super reliable. He's a rock. He plays for the team. Um, well, War he's not Koala playing Malphite. Is the man. For yeah, sure. he plays the other R champion. Shed. <laughs> yeah. A bit... A slightly odd, just because like how many other top laners there are. But I still think a good top laner is worth their weight in gold. Like, um... You... Like, it's top lane isn't just an island like people expect, especially with the grubs. You want that nice top lane pressure, yeah. or at least a top laner willing to come down to fight in that river. Oh, okay. And we have Rich Game Buddy picked up by Voidless. Um, I'm telling you, Rich junglers, Game Buddy. Junglers, junglers are being picked up left and right real quick. High value commodity. Oh wait, I just thought of it. Abraham Park has been playing Talia, so they can go to Yasuo Talia with this team and coin flip every game on <laughs> if, uh, if it can hit the flip. Beautiful. Oh my god, Let's I, just, I see the vision. For sure. Okay, now the question is, what will Kenny pick? Because depending on his picks moving forward, it will help determine what role he's imagining Demetrius to play. Um, so I'm just super excited to how that's going to go. Uh, of people who are still up that I am super surprised about is Salami Face. Salami Face, probably like a super abusive Darius player. He can play him anywhere. Yeah. yeah. British, I think also Salami Face being there. not pick is crazy. I think Salami yeah. Face has probably one of the biggest oh, he me. <laughs> potential to gap someone. Ooh, okay, wait. Bambooey. Bambooey. Let's go. Everyone on the casting couch here has now been drafted. Okay, Bambooey, you being drafted makes me think Demetrius is intended for support because we have a strong ADC support duo. Where is and Kenny going to play then? Is he going to play Kenny? He's a Garrett OTP. Yeah, oh. so you're, he's controlling the very tippity top and the very bottom so that, you know, it's a sandwich. Yeah. Okay, yeah, he's making a sandwich. <laughs> he's making a league team sandwich. A league team oh, sandwich. Oh, Rice the Sam Eater gets picked up by Ooh. Reefer. Rice the Sam, Sam Eater. Like, support and, and jungle. So Kenny picks bread, he, and Etor picks rice immediately after. What do you mean he picks... What, where is this metaphor going? What is rice? <laughs> do you put the rice between the bread? No, because it's a sandwich. You guys are bread. <laughs> what, oh, what does rice have to do with anything? Rice the sand eater. <laughs> ah, I see. Well, I would think rice the sand eater is going to be playing jungle uh, for this team. I mean, it could, he be, could be It could be support. If Karabasne playing AD. himself is Phil, so... We, yeah, it, he could be securing a support for himself. Yeah, but Kurobasu um, has like, um, jungle as like their least preferred role. Uh, I think it's most likely Kuro's boss in a top lane, Etor, AD, and... Okay, so another, a another sandwich believer picks top and bot support. Yeah. Yeah. Sandwich. Wait, but I, we just said that they were rice pill, not okay, sandwich Okay, but pill. it's a rice sandwich. You know, like, <laughs> the, the trendy, like, if you go to some of those, like, Asian fusion restaurants and they have the bun made out of rice. That is what Eater mm. picks. He's a trendy restaurant. restaurant. 
who do you think JS Bach's gonna pick? So he gets two in a row. He has a jungler. He has himself mid. There's no universe. JS I Bach think you have to mid. pick an AD carry. Just whatever is the best AD carry remaining. Okay. okay and then okay. probably Salami Face. I think. Oh, okay. I think Salami Face super high value because, like, just an absolute menace up in top lane. If he doesn't yeah. get the Darius, he'll play the Volibear. Bear. You won't yeah. see him for a while. But you know he's doing things. Yeah, um, Loki Kingslayer could be a hidden pick because Kingslayer does play some AD carry, but and Steven and Jamie have played together before. Oh, and Kingslayer true. has been playing solo key, which is more than I can say about some of the other players. <laughs> that is true. Kingslayer's been grinding. Synergy is so important. We haven't talked about like which players have hit played with who historically or who they're friends with, but. Like just being able to like communicate smoothly, have like understand like how like the other people in your team play, um, even without saying anything. Also, it's like I don't know. It's so good. You can't pick Tony for his ability to say things. Dude, actually, I do it with Tony this season a couple times, and surprisingly, it's super easy to communicate with him. I just feel like I have a good idea of what he wants. Or I don't know. Or maybe I'm imagining just, it, and Tony. That just sounds Tony like you're abusive. Side, yeah, and Tony, <laughs> maybe I'm just imagining it, and Tony is just like this crazy, like what surprise doesn't player. do anything that I want. Yeah. Okay, and we have Salami Face. Yeah, and Alexei, who's an ADC player. So okay, okay. That look honestly, the JS box. Game, Super solid. Yeah, JS Bach pick looks very, very solid. I I, overall, he has a yeah. great draft. This looks, this draft looks amazing. Um, okay, and here we go back to Yide. He has a sandwich. Now, what is he gonna fill the sandwich <laughs> no, your with? Your rice sandwich. Yeah, he has the <laughs> rice sandwich. Now, what goes in the rice sandwich? Yeah, Brishan probably going to be probably oh, Brishan. Brishan, Brishan is very here. good. The problem, the only issue potentially with Brishan is, according to him, he doesn't have a desk, a computer, or a mouse at home yet. Ooh. <laughs> but he wow. did hit Diamond 2 when Diamond 2, two was cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah. True, and that is, that's a real Diamond And now, two. now no. Diamond okay. 2 is free. Or inflation. Yeah. yeah. Diamond 2 Dan is probably Grandmaster now. So, very high value, but... Oh. I don't know when he'll get his desk, computer, and mouse. So maybe mm. practice is a little delayed. Well, or he could play on a DDR mat. I, I don't know. Maybe Brishan has a way. Yeah, maybe Brishan okay. would just beat some of the mid laners by he one does pick Brishan. Okay. And we do have Brishan in here. And Ben Bowie, who would you like to see on your team? I don't know. Christian, are you able to? You want to say in chat? What do you think you're gonna Whoa, get? Oh, and we have Snuggle the Hero. peanut gallery synergy. Okay. We have Demetrius Bambui and Snuggle Hero. Wow, Kenny. we have the synergy. Let's go. I have never seen more winners queue. Locking it in. So I've been telling Snuggle Hero earlier to learn um other champions, and now maybe maybe it will pay off. Maybe I'll be able to convince him to play on anything else. You're putting in investments. And now, yeah, and now this is pay, 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 like, well, actually, payoff time won't come until we actually play those games, but we'll see how this goes. Okay. Yeah, Snuggle uh, Hero is very dead. Okay, wait, okay, can I just say Bloody Ninja coming out here in round four Sorry. or round three and is insane? It's not Bloody, it's Bloody Ninja. One one two one one two two. Say his okay. name. Okay, fine. So King of Conquest, <laughs> of Ron, and Bloody Ninja one one two two. I just want to say I'm really lost. Not real, I lost. Um, <laughs> so Bloody Ninja one one two two, fantastic, super punishing Urgot player. The man carries, and he carries hard. Yeah, for I, I'm sure. Shocked that he's. Yeah, I'm shocked that he like wasn't picked. I think the now. idea was probably just that um, Bloody Ninja doesn't, or there's like a lot of other top laners, but he's done like super well in top in like basically every other tourney he's played, and he's also been drafted pretty late in like basically every other tourney. It's kind of a scam. Okay, Taco one five one eight. I mean, 
Fiora yeah. one trick, actually. You could argue that a taco is essentially a sandwich. No, no, no. According, according to them, massive <laughs> champion pool. Massive champion pool. <laughs> oh, and flex high of D1? That's pretty insane. Yeah. Ooh, there's extra And Rashi. he said that every game is a mid-diff. Okay. I also will say Xtrachi, super undervalued by being picked here right now. Like, I am shocked Perfect. by some of the things these captains are getting away with. Like, yeah. Whose fault is it? All right. So you're calling them out. Whose fault was it? That's who should have drafted this play ninja earlier. It? Whose fault was it? Uh, and I you're not allowed think... to pick no love. I pick no love. <laughs> 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 Oh, I agree they with also all have the things. x Fampy s x Shirachi synergy. Yeah, that's true. And um, mm. those two are friends. So we talked about synergy. We talked about friendship. And, you know, if Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh has taught me anything, friendship really matters. For that, sure. I thought Ash was like a loser, though. Oh, no, actually, no, he won. He won recently. It took him yeah, like he, 10 Ash years or something. Yeah, he became a champion. He did it. He's still 10 years old. He has an age, so technically it's one year. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, Kako V, who do you want? Probably just going by ELO, probably the the highest rank person that's left. Okay, that's that's Cmax. Cmax. Yeah. You want, uh, want Cmax at home on your team? Santiago Christ. I bet he's a beast. This Class of 2027. And the role works he's out. Got to... <laughs> the role but we'll see what Abe shake picks. out for you. Another top uh, Trust player. in the process. Abe. Yeah. Abraham Park, probably. He's running the numbers. He's, he's got it, dude. Also, he probably plays a lot more with uh, the people that are super young than me. <laughs> Can I also say it's Abe? Isn't Abe friends with Cardinal? Like why Abe is friends Cardinal? with Cardinal. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> that synergy, like Cardinal is flexible. He's a fill player. But what, what if what if Abe doesn't want to do that to Cardinal again? Cole is also still a yeah. Cool. He okay. Abe drops Z Max. Oh, Z -Max? AKA not the captain Z Max. This is four, Z Max three. hashtag four three two eight. This is <laughs> two, the top eight. laner Z Max. <laughs> Not the Shen OTP, the ex Shen OTP Z Matt. Mm -hmm. uh, Santiago, thank you for the, the little tag there. Oh, and No Love insta locks Arachnobat. 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 Let's oh, go, shit. Arachnobat. Wait, that means I'm not playing support. <laughs> Adam's <laughs> playing ABC. <laughs> no. <Adam is> playing... <laughs> or it could not. be Arachnobat mid lane. And No Love. So... Be... No Love AD carry, Arachnobat. Dr. Omegalo in the jungle, and then no Relay lost Dr. Omegalo Nola is going in the jungle. Okay, dude, you well, haven't seen his goes. brand, dude. Okay, and we He's have a Captain Z-Max. Well, this Captain Z-Max is not allowed to pick. Thank God for that, by the way. He could have We could have ruined the entire draft if these two end up together again. I mean, we could just refer to them in different ways. You yeah, say that, we're just but then when you're, to the when you're like just watching or casting and just see two Z-Max in a team yeah. fight. Okay, but screwy. they're two very distinct Z-Maxes. z, z -my? So, I have faith. Yeah. Um, okay, what who will Z-Max Z pick? Can we, can we see the Col list of players? He goes for a Coleman. X apartment live in same apartment people oh let's okay. go coleman yeah coleman has been grinding out a lot of solo queue he has oh season. so he's fresh he's prepared yeah he's got that cartilage working he doesn't have the freezer burn and yes person there are two z max it's a, it's a long story it, it comes from winter wall the okay. captain one is the the z max you know and there's just another person named z max yeah, who is going to follow in his footsteps? Yeah. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> Here comes Tofu, SK Telecom T1, picking his next two picks, rounding out, finishing his team. 
he started strong. Who do you think he's going to round out with? Inspiring Firo. I mean, these are just people that he's plays with like a ton right now. So he's going for synergy. I think he needs a top laner and a support. So, of the people it, left, do you think he's forcing Tony to play really ADC? going to play AD carry? I mean, I feel like AD carry is such an important role in this current meta. Is it? Yeah. Dude, but when no, you have AD carries right now are playing like Jin you know? and MF. Jin it's and the MF. AD carries in the other lanes that are very good. Okay. It's this cute BB Rose and Sweet Victory. Okay, oh. let's take a look. Who see. is playing AD carry on the team? So Sweet it might be Spenny. Support and top. And cute okay, so. Okay. Where's. Oh, there. Top mid. Well, someone is getting. Who's playing support? Okay, maybe it's SK Telecom support. <laughs> the <not> legendary. <laughs> Bard and LeBlanc support. I mean, LeBlanc support is abusive. I don't think anyone other support in this tournament can play it the way I'll do it. You want I will make the okay. personal sacrifice. <laughs> You're gonna make the change. Okay, so we're back, moving back to Captain Z Max. He has a jungler himself, Exali Princess and mid laner. Zetio, I don't remember ADC. what Bull Zetio is. ADC. And Coleman Cole. played. I believe the last time he played in Summer Lull, he played mostly mid, but he plays predominantly top. Okay, no. so probably a top laner. Then he needs a support to run and round it out. Though I feel like. There's, and this is going to get oh, me some. Is it a play. Kingslayer angle? Ooh, King, and she is around a lot practicing. And Cardinal they have is available. Friend synergy. And friend synergy is important. You know, time zone synergy also slightly important. Oh. True. Wait, my team has such poo poo time zone synergy. Wait, why? Who? I, what time wait, zone is Kitty in? There can be a worse time zone synergy than Police Defender and Liquid oh, Blade. True. Police Defender, <laughs> Liquid Blade is <laughs> Liquid Blade. Uh, for people who don't know, is playing from Europe. Yeah, but so... he is D two on EU West, who he says is a much tougher server than. NA. Okay, and we have Cardinal <laughs> coming in for Z Max, rounding out that team. I think that's a mm. really strong group of five. You know, I I, I feel like. That's really intimidating. Okay, we have a quick Bauber coming in. Okay, I believe Bauber is an ADC, so I, I might be free from yeah. ADC. Um, KE is duty. an ADC player. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm King free. Slayer picks up picked up by Abraham Park. And quick, yeah, Abraham Park finishing strong. That means... Who's playing ADC here? Oh, no, so it's Yabo, Yabo. King Slayer. It's Yabo. Yabo ADC. Tali Wait, Yasuo. Wait. And... That's so good. You have five people in their roles. Like... Exodia. Yeah. We're locking it in. This, I think this is Abraham's best chance of winning a game in the past, like, two years. I feel like Abraham Park has won at least one game in the past two years. I'm not sure about that. Maybe not last year, but maybe the last two years, for I sure. I think, okay, yeah. he might have, have won one I have game. Faith. I have faith in Abe. Uh, I feel like someone's gonna have to fact check us later, but, you know... <laughs> Surely he won one game in the past two years. Okay, Beaver Bob gets picked up by Kale's Ball. Um, Beaver Bob is a mid lane player. I think predominantly Lux, uh, but Lux kind of just makes you also play all those other similar archetype champions. Okay, so... You know, we're getting closer down the line. I think we have some underrated players here, and I'm super excited to see how this goes. Um... Like what? What? What roles are people looking for? Yeah, like lightning fist. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Top, Who doesn't have player. a jungler? Does any? Do, does anyone left not have a jungler? Let's take a look. Um. Technically, slot. I think three. maybe police defender doesn't have a jungler. Um. What liquid blade. You know, you could you could pull up the. Jungler. I feel like liquid blade. I feel like will liquid blade is probably the mid laner. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like. Police Defender does need a jungle player. I feel like 
Uh, Kenny's team is also missing. Kenny used to play a ton of jungle. Okay, so you think Kenny's so gonna rotate possible. off top? Okay. Yeah. I think looking at who is available. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I've been smurfing these uh, like bronze and silver games as jungle. Yeah, maybe Bamboo is jungling. When he has is he back. been jungling, Bamboo? Whenever like... I end up filled and I have to play Twitch jungle. Oh, in our lobbies. Okay, Bamboo. <laughs> these those games aren't bronze and silver. I wish <laughs> we got our we get our asses handed to us. When I'm game. playing jungle, they feel like bronze and silver games. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Wait, are you talking about us being bronze and silvers? Because we're also filled in with you. Uh, no, no, the enemy team. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. And that's why we lose to the enemy team. <laughs> Wait, my Twitch I think pretty good Police one. Defender should just pick Lightning Fist here and just draft. Nope, Bunier. Oh, everyone. <laughs> I feel like it's because Warcoral is already a top laner. Yeah, so we're we're entering the top lane. Um, oh, and super quick foilers, lightning fist. Okay, uh, I think that makes someone sense. Someone is going support here. I would think. But, yeah, but we, I think lightning fist has a really good yeah. support. Lightning, fist, lightning fist is rotating to support voilers. because we have bloody ninja on top, and then lightning fist himself will play like pike or some kind of engage support. Pike or some kind of engaged support. I feel like I 99% of the time see him on Morgana. Okay, Morgana is also on his list. Um, that happens to be his one Enchantress. I think he might also play Lulu. But, but he also plays Leona to what I believe. Oh. I feel like Bloody Ninja and Lightning Fist can just flex the roles. And, you know, Bloody what? Ninja does have a very if good Rumble is banned, support. Maybe Lightning Fist. Yeah, he just plays the Rumble support. And Lightning Ooh, Fist gets his Trindamere top. That's true. Although so the Trinidad Bear nerfs did hurt it quite a bit. Bands. That's very true. Okay, so yeah, who and they Kenny have, play? and they also known Zoe one trick, so they do have like a lot of band bait, as long as they are able to play past it. And yeah. my team gets the young nine. Let's go. Let's we go. We can't lose. Yeah, let's okay, go. okay. This does mean though that this is probably Demetrius in jungle, Demetrius or Kenny in jungle top. And super quick, not Electro and Malmer. And we have our teams, ladies and gentlemen. Who do you think won draft? How could my team lose draft? We have Lil Young Nine. Lil Check Young Nine. Nine. <laughs> five Nine, Five Nine. I mean, he is a tournament Hi. favorite. Like, local, local hero. Yes, and also Malmer and not Electro gets picked last. Uh, jungle support, ADC support. Will... So, Malmer is almost certainly not playing jungle. They're probably playing support. Malmer, you're probably playing support. If you're here, I regret to inform you, that's where you're gonna end up. What do you up. mean regret? <laughs> support is the best role. I think they should be super excited. True, support is yeah. the best role. You just p turn on payphone, start blasting away while you're running around the map. Yeah, okay. for sure. Wait, are we talking about Payphone by Maroon 5? Yeah, it's the the meme. Young Nine no. overrated. No, Young Nine at at worst perfectly rated. As Underrated. all they should be. <laughs> right. okay, I think this might have been one of the most even drafts that we've had. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think any so many teams looks that could too, win. Like egregious. Like yeah, sometimes, think, sometimes think, there are teams yeah. that like just look, uh, like the captain might have been, um, you know, a little half asleep yeah. or something. Remember the year that Yavo picked Lil Young Nai as the first pick. Hey, but they had the power of friendship. That um, is true. And you know what is a tournament if you don't have fun? But yeah, in terms of people that I favor, I mean, No Love won last year's summer lol i based on my eye test i don't think his team is like as strong relative compared to how it was last year no don't say that when i'm on that team <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, ju I it's think, just a quick eye test i think slot a no love's team has insane vibes i think everyone's super chill who and yeah i think it's probably one of the 
best vibe teams, I think. Which team is the, the best draft. vibe team? For sure. No, which one? Um. Which one did you say? Uh, oh, I, I said no loves team. Okay. I think it's the best. Really, vibe team. I would say the Abraham, um, Abraham Park team is the most. Ain't vibe no team. way. You haven't seen yeah. the X D Max, Tevi and Dog after getting ganked video it during this winter. Vincent, he's launch. on your team. <laughs> yeah, so it might be a little bit scary yeah. playing with him. <laughs> yeah, that just means you're you're gonna have fantastic top mid or top jungle synergy. Ooh, Brishan apparently okay. got permission to drink. Uh, for he he might have taken like a couple of shots in between games last tourney. Maybe he'll do it again this year. In honor of uh, Greeny pick, Captain no longer Green with Epic. us. Yeah. Yep. Salute. Um, okay, and I think that wraps it up for our draft show. Um, oh, we do have the groups up. to show. Um, yeah. We did do a drafting of the groups, so you will be placed into... Uh, the captains were placed into the groups before um, they picked the draft slots. So, um, Ben, if it's possible, can we show the groups? Um, yes. Soon mm -hmm. as I find... Where on earth Marcus shared it again? Ah, I see. Um, let me see. How do I share this without doxing everybody on Discord? <laughs> Maybe we, we can just copy and paste into the Google Sheets. Uh, but wow. while we're here um, sharing the groups, just a huge shout out to um, Marcus and uh, Trung for controlling and um, coordinating the captain picks and all the captains for showing up on time and being super quick um, with the drafts today. And uh, you guys here for being with us watching uh, watching the draft. Yeah, okay. so the way the tournament will work on the first day is everyone inside of a group will play against each other. So here are the two groups. Group A, SK Telecom T1, Kales Ball, Place to Thunder, Kenny, Abram Park, and Group B, No Love, JS Bach, Etor, Boilers, and ZMAX. Um, there's basically no competition between players in Group A and Group B unless you make it to the next stage. Yeah. So these are the main people you should be focusing on if you are planning to make it out of groups. Yeah, and I think in the past we had the first seed will play the second seed of the uh, other groups. So unless you're really confident in making out of the groups, um, yeah, would recommend <laughs> just maybe perhaps grooming teams from the other side of the group. Yeah. Is there any, is there a group of death here? Um, oh, I think group B is the group of death, personally. Do you think you are the murderer? No, I think <laughs> I'm gonna get murdered. <laughs> I think we have no, like, we, I think every group is the group of death. I feel like we had, like, That's every fair. single team. I think if you were asked me to pick two teams from two of the groups, I think. It's like really hard to predict. Ooh, the power of highlighting. Okay, here are the groups. Draft was really good this year, so I I do yeah. think it was probably one of the most even drafts ever. Um, I still think Group B is more intimidating to me personally. Um, All this pink has you scared. Yeah, it's the it's the red man. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think they're. Close I think it's pretty ish. even, I think, for both. Um, I am super mm, intimidated I, I think, by... Yeah, I think yeah. maybe pink. I think pink edges out. Yeah, I am super intimidated by Team JS Bach, um, Team Voidless, and I think, you know, I don't really know much about the players in Team ZMAX, so that's why I'm like, that's a big question mark I don't know, That's just because you oh. fear... Bloody really, Ninja, I think one, the one, scariest two, two. team is Eater's team in that group. I think Eater... I, um... I also don't really know a lot of the players in yeah. Team Eater. So that's... Especially Cora Bosne, because Cora Bosne is super high ranked, but I don't think many people at all in this room might know him. So he's like the the dark horse. Yeah. But he was Masters. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm scared. I'm shaking. All right. Well, thanks everyone. Um, next time the stream will be on, it will be official tournament start. So I'll hopefully see you all there. And what day is that? Let's see. What day is that? 
August 17th. So we all get a smidge over two weeks to practice. And get, hopefully get ourselves in order. Yeah, get some synergy, get some team comps. We'll see you on the Rift, guys. August 17th. Be there, be square. 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard, right? Yes, 2 p.m. Yep. Eastern 2 PM Standard. Eastern Standard. Okay, and yep. that's a wrap. Right. Goodbye, folks. Have a good night. All right.